Hey, what's up? This is your girl, Ash B, and welcome to the No Advisory News Break. Okay, the death of Nipsey Hussle has not only shaken the LA community, but it has pretty much shaken the entire world. Guys, you really just don't know how much of an impact that some people have until they're gone. I mean, there have been vigils everywhere, all over. I mean, we've even had a few locally here in my hometown. Well, everyone hasn't been so supportive. Kodak Black had a couple interesting things to say. Check this video out. She's gonna be a whole widow while I'd be the best man I could be, fuck. You always crash and burn, man. It's working for us. 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 I'd give her a whole year. She might need a whole year to be to be crying and shit. The boy too soon. I ain't trying to shoot at her. I'm saying this. Look, look, look. No, she could do two, three years, but I just. I mean the ultimate clout chaser. Kodak Black, this was this was a new low for you, bruh. Now, Nipsey Hustle has just passed, and I'm not surprised by Kodak Black doing this, to be honest, but a lot of celebrities were not feeling it, and this is what a few of them had to say about the whole thing. Hey. Put your feet in. Kodak Black. You out of pocket, nigga. Fix that shit. Quickly. Expeditiously. Nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Ain't nobody else gonna say it, nigga. I done said it to you, nigga. And if I see you, I'm gonna say it in your face, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Get your motherfucking self together. That's not it, bro. I promise you, that's not it. You gotta listen to the guy next to you that's saying too soon. And the other guy that's, you know, trying to keep you from saying it, period. You gotta, you gotta get out of that, and you gotta, um, you know, there are a lot of factors at play here. You know what I'm saying? Um, not only just the people that love and respect Nip um, and Lauren. Um, you know, you're you're you do business um, with us, with Atlantic Records. That's that's a tough spot to be in, young fella. So I'm gonna just let you know right now, just. Get out in front of that man, and if you meant no disrespect, if you meant no harm, you know, it's easier to say that than to play the, you know, play the tough guy. And any other nigga disrespecting my nigga Nip name, his legacy, his family, nigga, keep my nigga name out your fucking mouth, nigga. Keep his girl's name out your fucking mouth, nigga. The fuck wrong with you new niggas? No respect. Back having ass niggas, man. This new generation, y'all fucked up in the head, nigga. Stop disrespecting my nigga's name, man. This shit for real. My nigga died out here in these fucking streets, nigga. For the, doing the right motherfucking thing. Doing good for fucking people. First thing niggas want to do after his untimely demise is disrespect his fucking name. Nah, nigga. I ain't going for that. Keep my niggas. People were upset. As they should be. I mean, what he said was totally uncalled for and absolutely too soon. Well, Kodak Black did try to give his version of an apology, if you want to call it that. Going under in any shape or form, I'm sorry. Even though I didn't. And recipes to do. Y'all already know what I said. I said do encourage me to do shit for the community. But anyhow, my bad to them too. Uh, for all you other people like trying to fake act like y'all love boying me on the internet or checking me on the internet that's how you feel bro that's how y'all want to feel and i got a whole tour like i'm in georgia right now tomorrow i'll be in north Fort virginia like wherever y'all see me at if that's how y'all feel that's how y'all feel don't try to little boy me on the internet like oh motherfucking motherfucking nigga you could hit my line that's a piece to do if i disrespect it Knowing that in any way, even though I know I didn't, my bad. My so bad. Kodak Black wants all the smoke. Let me tell you, me personally, I think we need to be trying to preserve our energy. I mean, Nipsey Hussle left behind a legacy. He kind of sold a bunch of seeds that he wants us to continue to grow. So I think we need to kind of put Kodak Black to the back burner and not pay him any attention. And actually, Nipsey Hussle touched on this in a prior interview. Check this out. Not even react to clown shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel me? We shouldn't even... Be it, it should the public should follow the real niggas and the yeah. real niggas ain't reacting so y'all don't react exactly it's, you know yeah. put this shit on put the dude on goofy time and just let him sit over here and do what he's doing till that shit expire because it always gonna self-destruct clearly mm -hmm. you know what i mean so and here we are yeah.
Power 106 FM in LA have vowed to not support any of Kodak Black's music. Just Incredible said in a tweet, we stand with the family of Nipsey Hussle and are appalled by the disrespectful and poor comments made by Kodak Black. With that, Power 106 will not support Kodak Black's music. Hashtag long live Nip. I'm standing with that. Hashtag mute Kodak Black. I mean, at this point, he said so much over time that we should have been muted him. Let's not forget about those comments he had to say about dark-skinned women. We haven't forgot about that either. Well, long live Nip. His music will live on. Stream his music. He owns 100% of his master, so all that money will go to him. Pray for his family. Lauren London, we're here for you, girl. R.I.P. Nip. Make sure y'all like and comment. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thank you guys for watching. Peace.